Hey there, and welcome to your Labs Online tutorial. In this tutorial, we are going to show you some of the basic information on how to use Microsoft Labs Online, or MLOs, that's part of your mock on demand. So MLO is a simple, easy to use, browser-based way to do the hands-on labs. So if you need more detailed information about how to use the MLO, or you want to find out about things like browser compatibility, optimal display resolution, etc., you can check the user guide, which you can access from inside the labs. And we'll show you that in just a moment. One more thing. MLOs are designed to work with laptops or desktop computers. So you can use a tablet to take the course, but that form factor is not ideal for doing the labs. So let's get started. And you do that by simply clicking the Launch Lab button. Now when you do that, this new browser tab will open, and next you'll be asked for permission to pass your information to the lab hosting platform. Now don't worry, this is only used so that we can prove that you are in fact having permission to take the lab. Okay. Now the next thing you'll see is the lab launching, and the estimated time it will be before the lab is ready to use. So most labs launch in 30 seconds to a minute. Bigger, more complicated labs take up to two minutes to launch. Now, while the lab environment is being provisioned, we suggest taking the time to read the lab instructions and familiarize yourself with key information, concepts, and what you'll be doing during the lab. Now, the first section provides the high-level tasks for applying the concepts that were covered in the course. The detailed lab answer key, located in the final section, provides the detailed step-by-step -step instructions. Those are very, very important. Okay, we're launching the lab. There we go. Now that the lab environment is running, let's do ourselves a quick tour. So the main area of the lab view has the actual VM, or the virtual machine environment. This is the computer screen you'll be working on. It displays the desktop of each of the computers in the lab. At the top of the left-hand side, you will see the course information right here. Um, for the lab you're using, along with the instance ID. Now, this instance ID is very important. It's going to be the unique number used to identify your lab session in case you have any technical issues. That's a great reference point to use. Moving across the top right, you will come to the selector for the virtual machines. Now, follow the instructions in the course to determine which VM you should be using. Again, that will be listed very obviously right in those instructions. Next is the Actions dropdown. Now, this contains functions you may use to interact with the VM, such as sending control alt delete you can see right there now to the far right is the end lab button use this when you've completed the lab and are ready to move on so it's important to note that once you end the lab all of your work will be lost so if at any time you get stuck or need to reset the virtual environment you can simply press that end lab button and relaunch the module now on the top right in the blue bar you will find a connectivity indicator showing the speed of your internet connection to the lab environment. You can click this drop down arrow to see the actual speed. Let's try it now and refresh. Excellent. And you can actually press refresh like I did or re-ping to look at the refresh server. Lastly, at the far right of the blue bar is the files drop down, which gives you access to the user guide we mentioned before. Right there is user guide. Now, this is the detailed documentation of all the features and functionality of MLO. Now, depending on your workspace, you may want to take the lab environment to full screen. Get rid of some of the controls so you have lots of space to work in. Make sure it's Nice and focused. To do that, simply click the blue up arrow at the top and middle of the lab viewer. When you're ready to see the controls again, just click that down arrow. Bam. The last thing we like to call out is the support link at the bottom of the page. Now, in it, you will find FAQs as well as the Contact Us link, which provides access to the MLO technical support team. Okay, so this is a great time to remind you that most of the issues users encounter occur when the lab steps are not followed correctly. So make sure you review all the information in the high-level lab scenario, as well as each lab answer key before contacting support. So a technical issue might be the lab desktop failing to show, but that rarely happens, so take the time to double-check the lab steps before contacting support. Okay, well that's it. MLOs are really that simple. The only thing left to do is to follow the lab steps in your course and do a lab. So thanks for taking the time to watch this video, and thank you for choosing Mock On Demand.